Hi children, today you are going to learn 8th class 3rd chapter that is construction of quadrilaterals in that last exercise, exercise number 3.6. Now in the previous exercise we have constructed the quadrilaterals when 4 sides 1 angle is given and 4 sides 1 diagonal is given, when 3 sides 2 diagonals are given, when 3 angles 2 sides are given, when 3 sides 2 angles are given. This kind of quadrilaterals we have constructed. But in this exercise, these are the special kind of a quadrilaterals only can be constructed for the rhombus and squares. Because in the rhombus and squares, the diagonals of the rhombus and squares are perpendicular to bisector. Perpendicular bisector. That means they intersect at 90 degrees and exactly middle place. Exactly half of the, the total length. The diagonals will intersect exactly half of the total length and at the angle of 90 degrees. So, these are the special kind of a constructions. So, we are going to be construct the square and rhombus along with the diagonals. Only they will be giving you diagonals. With the help of the diagonals, we are going to be construct. Because, see that similarity of rhombus and square. In the rhombus, all the sides are equal. In squares also, all the sides are equal. But the rhombus diagonals are not in equal length. In the rhombus diagonals are different in length. But in the square diagonals are same. In a square diagonals are equal. In the rhombus diagonals are not equal. But in the rhombus and square the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors. Perpendicular bisectors. That means exactly they intersect half of their total length at the angle of 90 degrees. However, all the sides are equal in the rhombus and square. So, they will not be giving you any sides. Only they are giving a diagonals. Here in the rhombus, they will give you two diagonals. So, that we have to draw the perpendicular bisector of the two diagonals and we have to construct this. In the square, they will give you only one diagonal. It's nothing but the two diagonals are equal in the length. Indirectly, they are giving you two diagonals. But, Directly they are giving only one diagonal, but we have to understand that diagonals are equal in length in a square. So, let us construct that one rhombus and one square. Completely there are three questions here. First two questions based on rhombus. We have to construct a rhombus. So, I will construct one rhombus and one square here. The first one I will take a rhombus. A rhombus C A R T with C R equal to six centimeter, A D equal to four point eight centimeter, four point eight centimeter. Now we have to construct the rhombus with this diagonals. So what you take it? Any one of this diagonal you take a draw here. Suppose C R equal to 6 cm we are concerned. Now you have to draw the perpendicular bisector of it. Perpendicular bisector in the sense you have to take more than half of the length of the 6 cm. More than half in the sense you take 3.5 or 4 or 5 or 6 more than that. You take more than half of the length as a radius on the compass. Draw the arcs from the C up and down and also outside and outside. The same without disturbing the radius. We have to draw the arcs from the R also, so that these both arcs will be intersect each other. From there, you draw a line. So, you get perpendicular bisector. This perpendicular bisector you got it. That means, here, suppose if this perpendicular bisector you locate some point. Here, till here it is a 3 centimeter and it will be a 3 centimeter. It exactly divides into the two equal parts. Now, we have to locate AT equal to 4.8 centimeter. We know that a t equal to 4.8 centimeter no? this 4.8 centimeter you divide by 2 that equal to 2.4 centimeter you will get 2.4 centimeter that means you have to enlarge your compass with a radius of 2.4 centimeter and keep at this middle point and draw an arc upward and downwards to the intersecting the our perpendicular bisector line so they are intersecting at here and here, this is 2.4 cm, this is 2.4 cm, completely it is 4.8 cm. 
now you got the exact position just we have to join this this points now name of this two also what is actually c a r t this is a i d c c a r t rhombus is ready actually so very simple construction so if i draw the face sketch you will get understand what to do it actually let us see first we have to take 6 cm first diagonal let us take it 6 cm that is here i am taking a 6 cm as is first diagonal this is c and this is r that is 6 cm now what we have to do it we have to draw the perpendicular bisector perpendicular bisector in this is we have to draw the more than we take the more than half of the length here more than half of the length in this is you take either this radius will be 3.5 cm or 4 or 5 or 6 more than half whatever you take if you take 100 cm also no problem but you get arc somewhere it will not sufficient your place so take more than half in this is 4 cm or 5 cm you take it keep this one edge of the compass at C and draw the arms up and down of this line we are drawing perpendicular bisector see without disturbing this radius should not disturb again the, the same radius we have to keep it r and we have to draw arcs yes it's too flat actually yes so we have constructed now what we have to do it these two arcs are intersecting each other from there we have to draw a line see that now we got a perpendicular bisector that means here from C to this point will be 3 cm you measure and this point to R also will be 3 cm suppose this intersection point will assume like a O they are intersecting at O so CO will be 3 cm and OR will be 3 cm now what we have to locate again A and T points we have to locate AT equal to 4.8 cm you don't take 4.8 cm on the compass you have to take half of the length because upside 2.4 cm and downside 2.4 cm so that's why I have taken AT equal to here 4.8 cm but see that you need actually OA that equal to OT is equal to 4.8 cm by 2 that equal to 2.4 cm that half of that we have to take it simple 2.4 cm we have to take it 2.4 cm you take as a radius yes we get a 2.4 cm radius now you have to keep it all of this because upwards upside that is 2.4 cm and with the same radius downside downside 2.4 cm see my radius is disturbed actually should not disturb our radius the same radius we have to do it Now you got it. Now this point, wherever they are intersecting or perpendicular lines, see this will be A and this is T. Now this is 2.4 cm and this is 2.4 cm. Completely A T equal to completely A O equal to O A equal to 2.4, O T equal to 2.4. Completely this is 4.8 cm. Simple now you have to join. C, T, C, A, C, A, R, T, R. See that. Our required rhombus is ready with the given measurements. Very simple. I hope you understood. Now, let's construct the other one. We will construct the round square now. We have to construct the square because second problem also say they have made they ask you to they ask you to construct a rhombus construct a rhombus with two diagonal circle now the C1 a yes, square J N U M P jump a square J U M P you should not call as a jump okay J U M P one the diagonal we have given a one diagonal 
4.2 centimeter. Okay, it is a square first. So take first two. What are the diagonals? The alternate alphabets will be a diagonal. J and M are diagonal. U and P are diagonal. Simple. J M equal to 4.2 centimeter and U P equal to 4.2 centimeters. So if you draw a square, you get understand. J U M P C J M are diagonal and U P is a diagonal. Simple. The same process we are going to be apply here. First, you take J M equal to J and M equal to 4.2 centimeter as a radius. Simple. Now we have to take more than half of the length of 4.2 centimeter. That means 2.1 or more than 2.1. That is 2.5 or 3 centimeter. You take it. Draw an arc from J and also draw an arc from M also without disturbing that. So you can will get one perpendicular bisector here. Now this perpendicular bisector point will get as a O. So that O U equal to O P equal to 4.2 centimeter by 2. We have to take half of that. So 2.1 centimeter. Now we have to enlarge our compass to the radius of 2.1 centimeter. Keep it O. Draw an arc. Here U, here P. Simple. Now it is 2.4 centimeter. This is 2.4 centimeter. Joint. Nice. It will be a square. Square and rhombus will same. The same construction, way of construction is same. If you slightly rotate a rhombus, it look like a square. If square, if you slightly rotate, it look like a rhombus. So that. Okay. Let us construct the face sketch here. The same thing I am going to do it. First two. I have to take 4.2 centimeter radius. I have to take a 4.2 centimeter radius. Here J M equal to 4.2 centimeter radius. Yes. Now from here what I have to do? It? Simple. Now I have to take a more than half of the length of 4.2 centimeter. That means I'll take two or three centimeters. Or for approximately I'll take approximately I'll take some. See, without disturbing our radius, I have to do this. This two forty-eight flat area actually. So I am able to keep my compass properly here. If it is not this flat area, we can draw it very well. without disturbing the radius. Now keep it M and draw an arc. So this both arcs are intersecting at this point. From the point we have to draw a line. Now this point we have to look at as a O. Now this will be two point one and this is two point. Simple. Now what we have to take it? We have now we have to take U B equal to four point two centimeter. We have to look at U and P. But O U will be here and O P will be here. Okay, O U will be here and O P will be here with the radius of two point one centimeter. We have to take half of that now. You take two point one centimeter radius on this compass. Yes, two point one centimeter radius. I got it. Now you have to keep it O and draw an arc. The upwards and downwards. Yes, I got it now. Here this position will be U. And this position will be P. Now let us join J U U M M P J P. Yes. Now this is 2.1 centimeter and this is 2.1 centimeter. Completely we got U P equal to 4.2 centimeter. J U equal to 4.3. Two centimeter to the angle of 90 degrees. They are intersect. So here in the rhombus sine square, 
the diagonals are perpendicular bisector so these are the special kind of a constructions in the rhombus and square so i hope you understood this exercise also clearly constructions of quadrature is very important chapter for the your annual exam definitely there will be one question so you must know the constructions practice properly if you practice twice and thrice you will get a good idea about the constructions this is what my suggestion actually the first time itself if you got a constructions very clearly that is very good or else you have to practice well until you get the constructions so thank you for watching this video with this our chapter is completed have a nice day bye